Hey guys, welcome back to CETV. This is your DM Alex coming to you live from Comic Emporium. Um, it is the last Friday of September. I'm going to quickly recap uh, what events we've got this weekend, talk about some new arrivals, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about October. So first things first, uh, uh, it's Friday, uh, so we've got casual magic today. It's going to start at 3 o'clock. The difference today is at 7 o'clock we're going to be doing a booster draft for the new set in Estrad Midnight Hunt. That's going to be um, open to everybody. It's 20 bucks to get in. You get you four booster packs. You guys are going to create a deck like you know. I uh, already know how to run a draft. If you've never run a draft before, this is your time to actually try it out for the first time. Uh, so we're going to have that. Again, that's going to be at 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, we still have uh, some seats left open. So if you want to get in on it, just come on up to the shop before 3 o'clock and get your name on it um, and, and get your 20 bucks in. All right, so that's today. Now we do have all of the product for um, the new Magic set. We've got the collector boosters, we've got the set boosters, we've got the draft boosters, we have the um, the commander decks, and um, we've got uh, I think that's yeah I think that's everything. Um, so we've got all of that. That's all on the shelf right now, um, available for you. Uh, for those of you who did your pre-orders, you can come on in and pick up your pre-orders now. They're available. So that's magic, and magic's going to be a big thing uh, this today because it is a new release. Um, I don't want to go into too much de more detail into that. Just come on by and check it out. Uh, if you like werewolves, zombies, and vampires, this new set is full of them. Um, all right, so uh, also in card games, we have uh, Dawn of Majesty back on the shelf for uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh players. Uh, if you were looking for Dawn of Majesty, we finally got boxes back in. Um, I am expecting some more Pokemon product to come in. I've got the first partner packs. I've got the black and white Kyurem, uh, uh, what are their arena decks. I've got league battle decks for Inteleon, and I still have the um, Sun and Moon trainer kits to get you started if you're new to Pokemon and you want to learn how to play. We have all of that. And then um, I went over board games last week. Uh, I haven't got anything new in, um, but I did update our website with some more descriptions. Um, all the stuff that we got in for board games is stuff that was like top 10 of like August or top 10 of July for 2021. It's all recent stuff. Um, a lot of fun stuff in there. Um, so come by and check those out. Uh, the other thing that we've got going on uh, is uh, there were two releases this week for d and um, I'm going to show you my favorite so far, which is going to be the Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Uh, now this is the, um, the new source book. It's got a campaign in it, an adventure for levels 1 through 8. Uh, it's got a lot of new realms, uh, new items. Most importantly, though, it has got two new races, Fairy and Herringon. And if you're not sure what Herringon are, those are the bunny folk. Um, so now you can get your Usagi Yojimbo on in 5th edition. Uh, so we've got that in. The other thing that came out, now this one is going to look a little familiar to some of our OG D&D players. Um, this is the full-on 5th edition Temple of Elemental Evil. So Temple of Elemental Evil, this is not like the return to the Temple of Elemental Evil. This is the full set, gonna kill you. This is not for the weak of character or the weak of heart. You need to know what you're doing in order to try to survive throughout this. So that's gonna be, um, that's on the shelf. I've got two of these. So if you're wanting to get in on the Temple of Elemental Evil, this is your opportunity to do so. Um, and then, uh, what else have we got? So that was that. All right, so events. So tomorrow, Saturday, at 1 o'clock, we will have our um, monthly geek trivia contest. Uh, now, the uh, prizes for that is first place gets a $25 gift certificate to Comic Emporium. And um, the, the theme this month is TV animation from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So if you think you know your 70s, 80s, and 90s cartoons better than anybody else, this is your chance to prove it. Um, I have already run uh, the uh, I've already run Greg through the uh, the questions, and he was able to get a little over 50% of them correct. So, and he's he's like a, an animation nut, you know. So if you if you think you can do better than that, then uh, bring it on. We've got a bunch of fun questions for you, and it's a it's a good way to educate yourself, and you can use that to brag, you know, when you actually know some stuff about uh, like some 80s cartoons, some 70s cartoons, and if you were like me, you grew up on the 90s cartoons. So, um, yeah, uh, so if you like Animaniacs, if you like
like um, Tiny Toons, if you like the Ninja Turtles, if you like Batman the Animated Series, I've got questions for you. Oh, we've got phone calls coming in. Um, so I'm going to make this quick. Uh, Sunday is our Paints and Pints. Um, Paints and Pints is going to be um, at 3 o'clock. And that's going to be uh, from 3 till 6. Again, this is uh, an event for you guys to actually be able to um, uh, uh, like learn how to paint if you've never painted before. Uh, it's also a good chance for you to... Um, if you if you're kind of like me and you procrastinate a little bit on uh, <laughs> yay there we go finally got to it so anyways uh, if you if you like me and you procrastinate on painting your minis this is your opportunity to like sit down and really paint some minis together with a bunch of folks um, so that's gonna be Sunday three to six and then guys that's it that's uh, that's all of September and um, then we're going to be going into October. In October, we're going to have a bunch of uh, new stuff going on because we're going to have our board game night, uh, which uh, will be probably the second Sunday of the month. Um, I'm willing to do it during the week. If uh, some people will reach out to me and tell me what's a good day, uh, we can do it during the week. Uh, and then we're also we'll have our Geek Trivia again. We'll have Paints and Pints again. But most importantly, guys, we have two very big events uh, the first one is going to be on the 16th where uh, the um, Bay Arts Alliance and the Martin Theater are putting on a Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, for all of our theater nerds out there, uh, you can come and see me actually get uh, playing a part. You can see Tina, our events coordinator, she's in the part. You can see my daughter playing in the part. Uh, you may recognize a few other people there um, that are going to be in the play. Uh, it's a uh, free event. Come out and see us. It's going to be in um, Oaks by the Bay uh, over by St. Andrews. So it's going to be Shakespeare in the Park. Um, and then... Our biggest event this coming month is going to be our trunk or treat. Uh, if you guys came last year, you got to see like we had we had tons of costumes, we had you know lots of good food, we had lots of good stuff to give away. This year we're trying to do bigger and better, so we're going to be doing a full parking lot full of trunk or treat. Uh, we are still looking for volunteers. So far, we've got six people who are going to be bringing um, their uh, trucks and their cars, and they're going to be giving out all kinds of cool stuff. We are going to have a costume contest that's going to have three different categories. We're going to have our children's categories, our um, teenager categories, and then our adult category. So you'll, you know, everybody gets a chance to win um, the costume contest. And we're going to be doing lots of giveaways. And we're really, right now, we are just trying to find a few more people to put some cars out here. I'm looking for some food trucks that might want to show up this year. Um, we're going to have the whole parking lot, and it's going to be on Halloween, so Sunday, October 31st, from 5 o'clock till 8 o'clock. Uh, the costume contest will start um, at uh, 6.30, I believe, or 7 o'clock. It's somewhere right in there, so if you show up early, you'll be fine. Uh, even if you show up late, there's going to be plenty. So this is your chance to show off your cosplays this year. Uh, other than that, guys, that's everything I've got for you. We've got a lot of cool stuff on the shelf. I've got, uh, we've got a lot of uh, Dungeons and Dragons groups being put together. So if you are not on our Discord yet, you need to jump on our Discord because that's how we're putting groups together now. Um, and we are uh, offering to stay open for groups uh, during the week later than our normal hours of seven o'clock. But you got to let us know by the Sunday beforehand so that we can make sure we have somebody scheduled to be here. Guys, that's everything. I appreciate you watching with me, and I will see you soon.